Okay, so now we'll have uh, René Ludon and Michael Duchamp presenting the Lizus Map web client. Thank you. Um, so the, we will talk about the, this web uh, client application. Uh, we uh, we are from Three Lease Company. It's a French uh, company, and uh, the, um, we want to make a feature friendly presentation. It's more about uh, the project, what are the the key features, and uh, what is the roadmap for the next version. Um, three Lees, uh, we, we work only with open source software like QGIS, PostgreSQL, and LizMap. Uh, we are core contributors to QGIS server. And uh, yeah, we love open source and we provide uh, different types of, uh, of support. Um, so you need to publish a web map. Um, but you already use and love QGIS. It's your Pivot software, you use it every day, and you need to publish a, a full feature application, it's not only a, a map, but application. Um, you have no time to, s thank you, you have no time to set up and configure web uh, maps in complex admin panels, like to redo your styles, your properties uh, of layers, your layer trees. Uh, so, why not use Lizmap? Um, Lizmap loves QGIS. It is made based only on QGIS server. So um, the desktop project is your configuration. You will uh, add your layers, you, you will find all the formats uh, that QGIS can open, vectors and rasters. And then uh, there is a, a Lizmap plugin with you just need to configure the part specific to the map, like the scales and uh, the base layers, but every uh, data, uh, every property is configured in the QGIS project. Um, so it's um, it's a, a bit of the same approach as the, the field uh, tools like QField or Input, where the project is the pivot, uh, the central uh, configuration. Um, and we have a web admin panel, but it's only for or mainly for authentication and authorization if you want to restrict access to maps or to some tools. A bit of history, uh, it has been created in 2K11 uh, as a simple uh, QGIS project viewer because we did not want to, uh, to do some uh, code every time a customer asks for a web, web map and so we created uh, this tool, it's based on QGIS server and OGC standards, and it, it has evolved uh, to a full-featured uh, tool that can let you create uh, map applications with all the GIS features you will uh, expect from it. Um, how to publish a web map? Uh, basically, you just work with within QGIS, so you you configure your project, you add your layers and server properties, then there is a plugin uh, to configure some of the, mm, the properties uh, you need, like uh, you can choose the tool uh, you want to publish, printing or other tools like that, and then you send your QGIS file and all other files, it can be shape files, can be geo packages, can be uh, what you want, and some media docu documents like images or a PDF and you just take that, you send it to the server with any way you, you want to, to use and you've got a web map for each of your project. So um, some use cases to show you uh, exactly wh what it is about. Um, there is one, uh, one city in France which is Melan in, in the Alps and they need to publish thematic maps for uh, the, the citizens of the, of the city. So uh, then they have used Lizmap uh, to create eye candy and uh, maps with a focus of simplicity. One map, you have only one or two layers uh, to have very simple maps. So they, they made a lot of work to, to have uh, sexy uh, images and what image is one QGIS project. So you can, if in a folder you put 10 projects, you will have 10 maps. 
and you can you can arrange them between uh, folders to have thematic folders, for example. And uh, a map they, they made is for uh, the school uh, playground, uh, not school, but just playgrounds. Uh, so you have full featured QGIS symboling uh, symbolization uh, possibilities, and uh, they made some. Uh, some cool uh, pop-ups uh, to when you click on the map you have the picture and the, the information coming from the attribute table coming from your geo package from your shape file um, the, the link of the image is just the path to the image um, aduga is a urban planning agency then they have more uh, business um, data like business parks and they wanted to highlight the key figures so they used lismap uh, possibilities uh, for example the html pop-up uh, with qgis expressions and uh, some uh, some uh, case wayne complex um, uh, syntax and the they have that kind of map with uh, with um, areas, and uh, they use express QGIS expressions to highlight uh, to create this kind of uh, representations. Like if you have no transport, they will be in uh, in grey, and uh, you you have a small like slider with percentages that depends on the QGIS uh, uh, data. Um, sometimes you want to do a map, but you also want to show some data with uh, data viz, like uh, pie chart or uh, bar charts. Um, there is an example of the National Park of La Réunion. Uh, it's an Indian Ocean uh, French island. And they publish data about plant and animal observation, um, which are timed. And they use LISMAP uh, data viz module to um, to show some uh, some charts with prepared materialized views for example uh, you have some uh, some tabs and um, each chart is based on one vector layer so you just need to put your vector layers uh, as source of data uh, it can be postgresql views but it can also be uh, virtual layers or a shape file and then you will be able to publish some uh, a bit big um, pie, uh, pie chart or, or, or the chart. Um, the last uh, example is a, a, a small demo we made about uh, cat position, domestic cat positions in the US. Um, and we use the QGIS capabilities of relationships between layers, between parent and child layers, to, uh, to show, for example, attribute table. Like you click on the on the cat name like Beluga, and you will see all the child features uh, for the statistics or uh, uh, territory, and um, you will be able to uh, to have a, a kind of an atlas mode that can let you switch from cats to cats, and that will zoom to uh, the cat and show you the territories and some uh, data viz filtered uh, on the cat uh, on the right side of the of the screen. So it's very, uh, I, I love this system uh, because you have so many different uh, cat pictures. Uh, um, okay, one last more um, professional uh, use is the cadaster in, in France. Um, French Brittany group of cities, which each call Centre Montbillon community, they, they need to search parcels uh, based on owners on position, like the town and the, the, the section of the cities. And they use a dedicated CADAS map module and the native access control to protect uh, the sensitive data depending on the logged user. Um, and this is, for example, one of the, the search tool uh, by location or by tenants or owner on the on the right tab and so you can zoom in you can select parcels you can then export the selection uh, and you can also use QGIS composer atlas to export a PDF okay I will let René Luc don't go speak um, as a open source project uh, we would like to uh, create a great community uh, firstly we have some knowledge about uh, users 
that can be private companies, public organizations, or research centers. So uh, these users uh, are not because we provide some services around this map, but we also have some uh, free contribution like translation and documentation. Um, we have already 23 languages demands on Transifex. Uh, only 20 languages has some uh, translation. And at the top, you can see that it's uh, Galician, Portuguese, Brazilian, Czech, and Italian. So um, I, I estimate French is out of the box because we are French. <laughs> okay, um, but we never meet every person we translate this map. They just contribute and probably use it. So if you want to discover other projects that are our own, uh, and you do uh, research on this map, you can find some examples. Um, it's just a part of the website uh, or web map application I found. Uh, you have something about uh, Bonelli Eagle observations, Indian Ocean of, uh, Environment Survey made by the um, uh, research center. Uh, this Earth observation, it's a way to manipulate Sentinel-1 and publishing it with Lismap. Uh, an application about uh, rice production in uh, Southeast Asia. Um, Fonalia and uh, OpenGIS using Lismap for some examples. OpenGIS, they use it for live Qfield user maps. And you have some community uh, or cities who are using it in Italy. Um, another research centers in South Atlantic. Uh, we have a company in North America, uh, West, and others. Yes, yes. Uh, Colombian users, QGIS users, uh, has made a um, presentation of Lismap without our knowledge. <laughs> um, so, and this map has been built uh, at the start to be extensible. Uh, we already run, uh, see one example with cadastral module. It's based on the server side module with PHP, templating, uh, JavaScript. But you can also extend this map just with JavaScript or just with CSS. Uh, the idea is to exp uh, exploit <laughs> the HTML power can be used if I'm video audio directly in the interface. We are creating a repository dedicated to JavaScript extensions. So uh, just one or two are made by Swillies, the other is uh, only contributing. You have uh, a script to integrate Google Street View if you have a Google key. Uh, you can uh, create a button to see directly the documentation in the web page or open a PDF with uh, documentation. You can uh, add a keyboard shortcuts for your maps. Hygiene um, uh, Web Services is about either uh, cloning uh, tool or um, running tool, I think. Well, you can contribute adding some JavaScript uh, and publishing it here. Uh, here is another module built to extend the capability of this map. This map is one project, one map. Well, one map application. With uh, this, it's a web map builder. You can reuse your layers to build our own maps just to create uh, um, on-demand maps. Uh, our customers who paid for this module want to create during uh, reunion the map with questions about uh, a disease, about uh, cat catastrophe, um, some problems to manage during a reunion. Uh, reunion. Uh, okay. So the actual version of this map is this map 3.2. We have to release 3.3 which is ready. <laughs> we are finishing the development uh, during August, and we don't find time to just tag and publishing uh, the final version of Live Map 3.3. Uh, we are focused on QGIS Server 3. Uh, well, QGIS Server 3.4 
became a long-term release in uh, February 2019, but uh, when we would like to use it in this map, we found some bugs to fix in QG server. So since version 3.44.8, QG server has exactly the same features as QG server 2.18. So since two, three months, you can use QG server 3 uh, in production. And we have one features, <laughs> the form filtering. You can build directly in Lisma plugin uh, a form to filter your vector data with some categories some uh, spatial information or some dead time field and you can reduce uh, the data visu you can visualize on your map. So now the Lismap features and Lismap 4. We have created a GitHub repository for requests for comments about the future of Lismap. We would like uh, in Lismap Web Client version 4 to have open layers 5 or 6. It depends on what will be done in Lismap 6. We will use ECMAScript 6. We will use W3C web components, unidirectional user interface, uh, Bootstrap 4, jQuery 3. And in the Lismap plugin, we would like to have a server part for uh, Python services to provide information directly from the server of the project and to have access control around field and layers. So just to be more precise about W3C, W3C uh, web components, we would like to reduce the dependencies on external uh, frameworks. So we don't like to use Angular, React, uh, view or other tools that uh, do not be uh, a native W3C web components library. Uh, we think that OpenAirs is already big enough for us. <laughs> we already have to manage uh, all the evolution of uh, OpenAirs. And if you run an old code, it still works. So if we can reduce dependency, we are, we are sure to have an application will be uh, working in 10 years. Well, this map is open years too, and it's, uh, it works, and customers like it. So why add some dependencies? <laughs> so if you want to know more, uh, you have a demo, a website, documentation. If you want to test it easily, you have a Docker Compose. If you want to contribute, we have the request for comment for version 4, the code, web client plugin, the documentation. Um, and if you want to localize, you want to have Lismap in your own languages, or better translating, uh, you can go to Transifix. Thanks for your attention. Questions? <laughs> So Lismap user from Poland. Uh, you just wrote that uh, open layers is uh, just big enough for you. Uh, so what does it mean exactly? Yeah. I, it means uh, open layers is a library on, on itself, and it means we we have we we already have dependencies in, in the code, and uh, we we have seen how people uh, have very. Um, it was very hard to migrate from Angular one to Angular two. And so you spent one, two years of heavy code, and after the, these two years, you just, okay, we have to migrate to a, a northern tool. And we, we have tested all the, the different uh, cool stacks uh, on the web. We liked Vue.js because it was small and more um, close to uh, HTML standards. 
um, but, um, but but we've we've seen that we could um, develop our own way of um, of using uh, standards uh, with, with a more simple approach uh, for the use of Lismap. Uh, I, I don't say Vue or, uh, or Angular is not uh, okay. I just say for Lismap uh, because the, the map application is not so complex. Uh, QGIS server does a lot of things too. And so we really want to, to keep it lightweight and you know now, uh, 10 years ago, you, you just needed CSS, J JavaScript, and HTML. And now you need to have the webpack and uh, the node and the blah, blah, blah. blah and you, it it becomes okay. too complicated. It's, yeah. it's becoming very complex. And if you want to contribute as a, yeah, a volunteer, it's very hard to, uh, to, to make the first step. So we, we want to have a low barrier uh, entrance. It's not that it's too hard for us. It's just we want to be simple for you. Hello. Uh, do you support editing of data geometries? Oh yes. Can you uh, more details about it? Sure. Um, basically, in QGIS, uh, you can you have forms, rich forms in QGIS. You can have tabs. You can uh, have yeah check boxes. Uh, we support. I I think ninety percent of uh, QGIS form features. Yeah, you can have a form with uh, combo boxes, and you just need to copy-paste your project. And we read QJS configuration, like QField does, and you have the same form in the um, in uh, in Lismap. So you can add, update, or delete features from the Lismap uh, interface, but only for PostgreSQL and Spatialite. Uh, vector data because you, you don't want to edit a shapefile uh, in a web application. But uh, yes, you, you, we, we support editing. Uh, it's, it's kind of full featured and you, you can also add some child edition. If you want, I don't, I don't know, you have a, a tree and you want to uh, make observations regularly on the tree, you just can uh, add new child uh, with a, a child form. So yeah, it's yeah thing like that. You can just it's uh, one of the demo, yeah. On demo dot uh, it's about observations. Uh, you have a tool 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 button to activate edition to add points. This forms is based on the QGIS forms. No code <laughs> to create it. Uh, you can add points. Uh, you have time, you have uh, combo box, uh, file to update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for, for geometry, you can add a point, line, polygon. Uh, we don't have yet a complex drawing uh, like hole in polygon. Like, uh, not. you can already cut a line if you want, uh, reduced. Uh, polygon. Um, if you are uh, on a, f uh, a mobile phone, you can take a picture and send it directly with your phone. Um, it is this capability is used by some company to manage uh, uh, wind park to to explore the capabilities. Um, well. Yes, it has. It has. Oh, I just modify one. Okay. Ah. I can make a new one. Just choose your layer. There is only one here. Uh, and then you just add, click on the map. And you can use your GPS location too to, um, to, to put the map. But here it's very far. It's in the Pacific. So you, you won't be able. And uh, if you don't uh, fill in the, the proper fields, uh, you will have an error. Um, for example, I just don't put the date and I save and you will have an error and so then you can just use that and save. And some people use it in the field. Um, okay, I have another one. Uh, it's not valid because you need an hour and minutes, sorry. 
two more minutes. Okay, so I just save and stop. Okay. Yeah, hi. How it's possible? How how it is possible to make a multilingual site? Like there is many countries where we have official several languages. It's multilingual by default. Mm. The interface. The interface. Ah. The, the interface is multilingual by default. Uh, you can. We have no not put the, the flags, but uh, you can choose. The, the default language is used, so you have okay. But if you have multilingual data, um, there is um, now in QGIS, the last QGIS 3, you can use uh, QT language to uh, translate the projects. So you could propose the same project easily in many different languages. Uh, but we have not an automatic way to switch from the language because it's not, it's not only the um, it's not only the, the aliases of the fields, it's, on, it's also the data. So you need to choose uh, the right field to yeah, show the labels and things like that. Uh, we have done some, some tests about it, but it's not, uh, uh, not uh, one-click solution. So it's possible with some work. Uh, yeah, for a short question, maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, uh, and thank you for the presentation. Uh, just uh, maybe comment or a question. Is there any possibility to add image uh, from the you know uh, external uh, f from the C drive? You know, just when you are clicking in the icons, you will see the image. Because I was working with that, but I couldn't add some image for the user inter interface. For example, if you click on I for the information, oh yeah, yeah, uh, we will see just one image as a. Uh, but I, I was thinking maybe to add more image. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just fill in a, a request in oh, GitHub. Okay. <laughs> no, will, yeah, it, it's not possible because now. you know for the city planners it's really important you know to have more image you know yeah, sure. like a legend like something yeah. more you know which is really complicated yeah. you know to have by HTML, so it's better to just upload the image. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>